In the uh, late 80s, you know, when we played the World Championship Games and uh, Olympic Games, we would play against the college players that played for the USA team. And when we start beating them, you know, they realized to, to send the NBA guys. They used to call it the European Dream Team. And one of the best teams Europe ever had, the members of that team, was me, Drajan Petrovic, Tony Kukoc, Dino Rajev, Jarko Paspa, and a couple other guys that played the NBA. Drajan and I was great friends. And on the other hand, uh, the overnight, uh, the life and the uh, friendship that we had just disappeared. Well, I wanted to tell a story about a team that was great, a team that people don't rem maybe remember. We all came from small cities. We uh, made it to the NBA, and uh, in some way we uh, internationalized the, the, the game of basketball uh, through NBA. It's uh, not like uh, we all want it to be, but I think the uh, relationship between uh, Serbia and Croatia is uh, much better than 10, 15 years ago. And uh, it's not yet like it used to be, but uh, it's going in the right direction. I think uh, uh, people realize that uh, uh, what we had in the last 20 years was a disaster for uh, both sides. This is a playground where we played pickup games when I was a kid. Here is a basketball court. This is a football court. Spent a lot of time here. In Europe, you know, the most popular sport is uh, is a soccer, and I was a goalkeeper. And I remember I was I was 12 years old. My dad bought me, you know, new gloves, you know, for and I was so happy and uh, very impressive. And it was a rainy day and a lot of mud in front of the goalie. And at one point, when the ball got stuck in the mud and I didn't want to get dirty, uh, they scored goals. So coach called me and said, you know. Kid, I think you have to find you know some indoor sport. This is not for you. So I switched, you know, soccer and went to the basketball. My first basket was right here. Well, it still has a net. All that 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 week after was, I told you, the worst week probably in my life. Uh, we sat there for like 48 hours straight, no sleeping. And his funeral was probably the biggest funeral ever in, in Croatia. And then the same day, uh, our coach says, okay, we have to go and play. And uh, so we're gonna first practice. And I remember sitting in the locker room and I said, how are we gonna go there? How am I going to get out now and have practice without him? Ooh. Huh? It's a lot of good memories yeah. here, huh? Look at the place, huh? I'm running up and down and... Up and down, up and down. Go. Wow, it's a good feeling, huh? It's really good feeling. It's, it's, it's a good place, huh? There was a guys that uh, played in uh, 88 with us, uh, Tony, Dino, Drajan, all of them. So how many months we were together during the year? At least four or five? At least. At least, yeah. At least. It's a great yeah. time, huh? Great time, tough time, but a great time. Yeah, I remember that. That was cool. There's so many things. It was a great team. Zoran Savic. Yes, those. Churchic was there too. Yeah, a couple other guys, you know, maybe. But Drajan, Tony, Kuk. What a team, huh? Good team, good team. What will happen, you know, if we stay together, if we stay together, you know? Good. Well. Vladi, I've never said this to anybody. You are my favorite player that I've ever played with in terms of just, you know, to try to get you acclimated to the NBA and Los Angeles. And um, you were great because you're like me, your personality. You were fun-loving. You were a great guy, great teammate. 
Uh, you could shoot and pass. <laughs> and so it was just great. I also say, you know, that uh, you meant a lot to me because uh, it's not just teammate. It was uh, the coach. It was a mentor. It was uh, a type of father figure, you know, mm. because I came here, different language, different culture, different style of play basketball. And the reason why I succeeded in NBA, it was the most important important thing for me was that you and all guys took me under your wings. Well, and well I knew out. how important it was. I knew that if you were successful, then others could follow, you know. And so I wanted to make sure that I took time with you and help you understand the NBA style and how guys were going to be physical and how we played. And it worked out great because yeah. we became not only great teammates, but great friends as exactly. well. And so I tell people all the time, I love Vladi. I love your family, your wife. I love everything about you because also you got a big heart. So you and I are really more similar than we are different. Exactly. Well, especially we, you know, where we're coming from, yes. you know, yes. from the small cities coming in L.A. Mm -hmm all the flashlights you know everything now we are talking and try to you know send a message to other kids you know it's, yes. everything is possible it doesn't everything. matter where you're coming from exactly. if you work if you believe what you do anything is possible anything is